As you bow your heads, I want you to know that God's presence is here. This service has been prayed for. There are people even beyond the D.C. metro area that pray for you all the time and that pray for our services all the time. Those prayers are going to make a difference. And as you bow your heads and you close your eyes right now, I want you to know that God's Spirit is present with us. I learned something a long time ago that every single time I'd open the Word of God and speak from the Word of God that miracles could happen, that the things of God could take place. In a world that doesn't understand God and rarely thinks of God, I love to be able to come together on Sunday morning at Capital Life Church and praise God as to who He is. And that is who you are, we just sang. Declaring the goodness of God. David said, oh, come magnify the Lord with me. In a world that turns that magnifying glass around and tries to make God so small, oh, come magnify Him. Because if you will magnify Him, you're not even getting close to how big he is, but it'll help you understand something. God's bigger than you can even fathom. That's why with whatever you're facing today, God's bigger, and he's not taken off guard by the things that have happened in your life, and he's bigger than the sins you've committed, and he's bigger than the failures you've had, and he's bigger than the thoughts that plague you, and he's bigger than your habits, and he's bigger than small thinking. God is awesome. And when there were those like Abraham and Moses and others and that we speak about in Scripture, and Ruth and others, when we look at those in Scripture who dared to believe that they could magnify God in their generation, in other words, shout out that God is bigger, God is greater than we could ever know. When there were those that were obedient and faithful to do that, God shook nations, God shook governments, God shook families, God shook individuals. He could do that through you. So you're coming up on a week. It's called Monday through Friday work week, and you're back. Oh, great. What does God want to do? What does he want to do at that place you've been working? What does he want to do to give you the job that would be so anointed that you would say, this is like no other job I've ever had? What does God want to do? In the relationships that he's forming in your life, what does he want to do? Will you go after holiness? Will you say, my past is my past and it stops here? Behold, my God does a new thing in me and in my life. Heavenly Father, I pray that with everyone that's listening to my voice right now, your Holy Spirit will rest upon each one. God, I pray that the past will be let go of right now. Sometimes we don't know how to do that, but God, you know how. And in the name of Jesus, we will no longer relive or rehearse or recite or revisit the days of past, but instead... We will launch into the year 2008, stopping to believe and to remember that you are there, that in the beginning, it's all about you. God, give us holy consecration. God, give us a heart that's after righteousness. God, make Jesus as real to us as the breath that we breathe. God, wrap your arms around us. We want an intimate relationship with you where we know you as real as the breath that we breathe and the heart that beats in our chest. God, we don't want religion or tradition. We want relationship that is so vibrant where we can hear you whisper, where we can feel one touch of your finger and we move in that direction where we meet your stride and miss nothing that you have for us. Knowing, God, that it isn't about us being successful in the world sense of the, uh, of the definition, but it's all about us loving you and loving our neighbors and being used by you in our world, in our generation. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll heal memories right now. So God's healing you right now from things that go all the way back to your childhood. I declare you to be the healed of the Lord. Every word spoken over you, we bring those words down in the name of Jesus. We will not allow them to have their effect. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing over your mind, healing over your heart. The brokenness of somebody touching you wrong, be healed in the name of Jesus. Your God is on the scene right now. Your Lord is touching your heart right now. God, bring a sense of a fresh start, of purity freshness. Everyone that's done us wrong, we simply give them to you. We forgive. But that's in the past now. 
Behold, you do a new thing. And I'm not held down by any chain, by any habit, by any thought. I am set free. God, heal you right now. Top of your heads to the soles of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Only the Holy Spirit of God can do that. But he's doing it right now. He's healing you right now. Just take a moment and let him do what he wants to do. You're not held to any argument. You're not held to any person who has spoken against you. You're set free. You're set free. Clean slate. Not held to even the things you've done. You're ashamed of. No shame, no guilt. You're set free. Sins are taken away as far as the east is from the west, and they're buried in the deepest of sins. Your transgressions are not held against you. The blood of Jesus paid the price. And if you'll receive that, you are set free. If you're here today, and you don't know whether you have a relationship with God, you're uncertain what would happen if you drew your last breath, You've gone to church, but you don't know if you have a relationship with God. But you want to know. You want to have assurance of salvation this morning. While every head is bowed and every eye closed, we're going to pray this prayer right now. And if you mean that with all your heart, I want you to pray this with conviction. Decide in your heart, yes, I'm going to pray this prayer with all the conviction I have. Let's pray this together. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for me. I have sinned. I am a sinner. You are holy. You've never sinned. You are God. I believe in my heart, and I confess with my mouth that you are my Savior. I believe in my heart, and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord. I am now a part of the family of God. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, if you prayed that and you meant it with all your heart and you had to know, if you prayed that for assurance of salvation, lift your hand up in the air and put it back down. Right where you are, lift it up. Yes, yes, yes. We have so many that are doing this. I, I talked with people who said, Pastor, my heart would beat in my chest so fast when you would ask that question if I prayed it. And I did, but I didn't lift my hand. But I did later. Listen, if your heart is beating in your chest right now, that's your decision. Just lift your hand up and put it back down. We won't embarrass you. But it's a conviction of your heart that as you do that, you're saying, yes, that's me and I'm going to live for God. Anyone else? Heavenly Father, we give you glory for what you're doing here. We dedicate our 2008 year to you. We dedicate our lives within it to you.